Here we have the posterior aspect of the scapula. You have three borders, the medial border, the lateral border, and the superior border. We also have two angles, the inferior angle and the superior angle. Coming from the medial border, you have the spine of the scapula here. What we're going to look at is palpating the bony points around the scapula. We're going to start off with the inferior angle of the scapula. So what we have here is if we palpate down to the, the bottom of the scapula here, we can feel a bony point. Now if you want to make that more prominent, if you get the person to put their hand behind their back, you'll see it becomes very prominent, and that is the inferior angle. If I work my fingers up from the inferior angle, I'm onto the medial border of the scapula. And you can relax your hand down now. Okay, so I've got my inferior angle, I'm coming up the medial border until I find the base of the spine of the scapula. I can then work my fingers laterally up the spine of the scapula. So I'm on the inferior aspect of the spine of the scapula, working my fingers up. And I can palpate that, the length of the spine of the scapula. At the end of the spine of the scapula, we hit the sharp bony point, which we mentioned was the angle of the acromion. So we can draw that on there. Okay, so those are the key bony points of the scapula.